Hello viewers, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to discuss about three definitions, which are vulnerability, threat and controls. First of all, we'll learn what exactly is a vulnerability, how is it different from a threat and what are the various ways by which we can control these vulnerabilities and threats. First of all, let me give the actual definition of what exactly is vulnerability. Vulnerability can be defined as a weakness in the system. So we can say that vulnerability अपने system में ऐसी कोई weakness है जिसको हम exploit कर सकते हैं। For example, a vulnerability is a weakness in the system, uh, unintentional bugs or unintentional errors which might lead dangerous to the system in the future could be termed as a vulnerability. इसका अगर मैं example लेके आपको समझाऊँ, so vulnerability ऐसी एक चीज है जो unintentional है, जानबूझ के नहीं की गई है or otherwise we can say that any programming error or any logical error which might cause issues in the future is termed as a vulnerability. So first, uh, so first of all, what does an attacker try to do? Attacker first of all tries to find out the drawbacks, loopholes or vulnerabilities present in your system. Based upon that, he or she will plan out the modes of attack and then he will carry out the actual attack. So, your system ki drawbacks, weaknesses will find out karega attacker and then wo un drawbacks ko isolate karke un drawbacks ko exploit karega. Fine. So, now let us move our attention to learn what exactly is a threat. A threat to a computing system is a set of circumstances that has the potential to cause loss or harm. So, actually, kya hota hai ki whenever we find out that so and so is the weakness present in the system, the actual attack which is carried out to exploit that vulnerability is what we call as a threat. For example, if you see that in your website there are some databases and that the databases are not properly sanitized. For example, the inputs are not getting properly filtered out, the inputs are not getting properly sanitized before being sent to the database or backend. In such a case, we can easily carry out SQL injection on that uh, network or on that database on that website that is what we call as a threat so in this case improper sanitization of inputs could be termed as the vulnerability of the system and sql injection that is the actual attack which is used to exploit that vulnerability could be termed as a threat to the system am i clear next step is the final one which is what we call as controls controls prevent the threats from exercising the vulnerabilities Controls are actually the countermeasures which makes the life of the attackers very difficult because they try to patch up all the vulnerabilities which are present in our system. So in short, controls are all the things that we can use to stop our system ki vulnerabilities from uh, threat. Banne se rok sakte hai. Fine. So let us move ahead and let me give you a very simple real life example to make the things very clear. We can show the relationship between vulnerability, threat and control with the help of this very simple diagram. Let's consider this diagram on the left hand side. The, let's assume that it is basically a dam or a wall which is blocking the water on the left hand side. And as you can see in this diagram, it is very clear that there is a crack in the wall. So what I can say is the water can overflow the wall or it can seep through the wall crack and move on the other side of the wall. So what I can say is on the left hand side, there is a possible threat on right hand side there is a man or there is a village who is at risk so what we can say is this crack in the wall could be termed as a vulnerability which can be exploited by this threat right but what is control control is nothing but all the mechanisms which we can apply to block that gap or block that hole in the wall so in short we can say that a vulnerability can lead to a threat which can be avoided if we have proper control measures in place. So I hope this concept is clear now. I will try to make it as simple as possible with the help of real life examples. So stay tuned for the upcoming videos in this playlist series on cryptography and system security. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Stay connected. Keep learning.